beautiful love what is beautiful love <laughs> love is love where there is beauty and ugly <laughs> this is the 11th story from the zen fresh zen bones written by paul reps today is 28th july 2023 the story of shunkai the exquisite shunkai whose other name was zuzu was compelled to marry against her wishes when she was quite young later after this marriage had ended she attended the university where she studied philosophy to see shunkai was to fall in love with her moreover wherever she went she herself fell in love with others love was with her at the university and afterwards when philosophy did not satisfy her and she visited a temple to learn about zen zen students fell in love with her shunkai's whole life was saturated with love shunkai when she was young she was married compelled to marry against her wishes means compelled to go to a school against the child's wishes compelled to go to a factory against your own passion and here in this case shunkai even though she went there she was forced to break the borrowed knowledge kind of teaching in the schools and universities the borrowed knowledge kind of a uh, job available with the companies she of decided love she had only one thing love when you look into love it is a beautiful love what you asked me just now what is beautiful love here in shunkai's case a beautiful love was the karma yoga keep doing work with expecting results and whichever job is given to her she was deep in love with that particular job in fact she married the particular job that is the real karma yogi's job to fall in love and marry that particular job that particular subject when you do that the whole body is bubbling with energy because the body loves love body loves only beautiful things without expecting anything in return in that love when you become a real karma yogi like what shunke wherever she goes she fall in love and when wherever she goes to do her work others fall in love to make others fall in love you have to become a karma yogi not even lifting your head up not even turning this side or that side yesterday we called the boys hostel 10th standard 9th standard along with the goshala workers and the field workers and the transport department because our bull bull couldn't stand yeah, our bull has got a problem with the knee so we call everybody to massage and there is one or two boys without telling jump to move very fast they look what is the smallest gap they immediately without asking without getting order they immediately look into that they were deep in love and our kavita was next to me she was telling i always watch these boys in the classrooms also without asking they are full in love they just jump into the work same time we turned around we saw some boys looking that side and this side and unless the order is good they came to, for focus on this particular job they must focus that focus makes you to do the raja yoga from raja yoga you go to bhakti yoga you have beautiful faith you fall in love with that particular god you believe the thing what you are doing is really god bhakti yoga from bhakti yoga jnana yoga come you become a literate till then you are an illiterate like the bikers association came to meet me and they wanted me to take me and take me to the uh, panchayat members and the panchayat presidents for their program coming up on august 6 when i took them to the panchayat members they forgot about talking about the the program on 6 instead they were asking about his house how big his house 
what uh, Rajasthani marble has been made, how much the land value around over here, whether they can help me to get some more land. Those who are not love because your focus is gone, then people who wanted to love you to make you do that particular job on August 6th will dis disappear. Here, what Shunke has done is falling in love. To say Shunke was to fall in love with her, moreover, wherever she went, she herself fell in love with others. Because she doesn't know the difference between what people are thinking. People may be thinking love means love, sex. For her, keeping the body pedicured, manicured, beautifully to look to the top quality, top quality, your body physically, mentally, spiritually. And in that top quality, you can automatically, when you fall in love, you keep sweating and sweating and sweating on that particular job and you make sure that the particular job which is given, the particular subject is which is given, the particular chapter what is given, you fall in love with that particular chapter and you read it a thousand times and, you, and when time comes, it's answer flows without thinking teachers will fall in love with you whole class will fall in love with you headmaster will fall in love principal will fall in love if you are working in the product the factory owner will fall in love that was a love then you don't have to think nobody is loving because you don't have even time to even use that word nobody is loving because you have no complaints and you do not have to give any Explanation also because uh, complaints and explanations are with the people, not with you or with the, with the karma yogi. Love was with her at the university afterwards when philosophy did not satisfy her and she visited a temple to learn about Zen. Zen students fell in love with her. Shunke's whole life was saturated with love. Can you believe? And a karma yogi, that was what, what happened. To be a karma yogi. When you reach that highest stage, higher and higher per day, one improvement on 360, 365 improvement, if you're looking into that, you don't know, sometimes when you are deep karma yogi, you don't even think I get one improvement. You deep love and improvement opens to washed ocean, not to a small pond or a lake. At last in Kyoto, the most beautiful place in Japan is Kyoto. <laughs> she became a real student of Zen. I lost my lover in Kyoto. Her brothers in the sub-temple of Kenin praised her sincerity. One of them proved to be a congenial spirit and assisted her in the mastery of Zen. The abode of Kenin, Mukurai, silent thunder was severe. He kept the precepts himself and expected his priest to do so. In modern Japan, whatever zeal these priests have lost for Buddhism, they seem to have gained for having wives. Mokure used to take a broom and chase the women away when he found them in any of the temples. But the more wives he swept out, the more seemed to come back. In this particular temple, the wife of the head priest became jealous of Shunke's earnestness and beauty. She went to the temple at last, Zen temple. But even the Zen students fell in love. Her sincerity made others also become very sincere and truthful to their job. Because when love is there in the real Karma Yoga sense, you can find Raja Yoga opening, Bhakti Yoga opening. Yes, it is a dance of the Bhakti Yoga. The song so beautiful. It penetrates you and penetrates a nature and the world at large and to the God. The temple priest was so shocked. He made very strict that nobody should unnecessarily interfere. But he couldn't even stop. Because he found the temple priest, even though he was very, very the about of Kenin, Mukurai, silent and was severe. He made sure that nobody should fall in love with the, with the women, with the other subjects, with the other job, because they know that was not the, the real uh, love because they were not karma yogis. So he used to chase the others out so that these people can concentrate on the subject till they mature in their karma yoga. Car nobody can become a karma yogi. Sometimes it takes three years, sometimes 30 years, sometimes it will take three janma or ten janma for you to become a real karma yogi. Hence the temple priest about was trying to chase and more is chasing, use the term female and wives and all. More, more 
Buddhist monks were not concentrating on the philosophy, they were concentrating on trying to get as many wives, as many women as possible and more they are healthy looking and eating, they find more and more women coming in. But he knew more women and wives coming in, it will destroy the temple because both are not matured enough. In this particular, the wife of the head priest became jealous of Shunke's earnestness and beauty. Hearing the students praise her serious Zen made his wife squirm and itch. Finally, she spread a rumor about Shunke and the young man who was now her friend. As a consequence, he was expelled and Shunke was removed from the temple. I may have made the mistake of love, thought Shunke, but the priest's wife shall not remain in the temple either if my friend is to be treated so unjustly. Shunke the same night with a can of kerosene set fire to the 500 year old temple and burned it to the ground. In the morning she found herself in the hands of the police. A young lawyer became interested in her endeavor to make her sentence lighter. Do not help me, she told him. I might decide to do something else which would only imprison me again. At last the sentence of seven years was completed and Shunke was released from the prison where the 63 year old warden also became enamored of her. But now everyone looked upon her as a jailbird. No one would associate with her. Even the Zen people who are supposed to believe in enlightenment in this life and with this body shunned her. Zen, Shunke found, was one thing and the followers of Zen quite another. Her ladies would have nothing to do with her. She grew sick, poor and weak. She made a shinsh Shinshu priest who taught her the name of the Buddha of love and in this Shunke found some solace and peace of mind. She passed away when she was still exquisitely beautiful and hardly 30 years old. She wrote her own story in a few times, endeavored to support herself and some of it she told to women writers. So it reached the Japanese people, those who reached, rejected Shunke, those who slandered and hated her, now read of her life with tears of remorse. Head priest wife found that that one of the Zen monk was after her and he was helping her and she started spreading the rumor and then they were both were expelled from the temple. Shunke got angry, she burned down the temple, means she burned down all that is bad because they were not in love, only love can create union, the yang positive and empty only can create electricity. All those who came to learn Zen were not in love with Zen. They were in love with the buildings, with the furnitures. They were in love with the money. They were in love with the women coming over there. Shunke thought that was not the real love. She like how Socrates was asked to take the poison and the disciples went and said, we can save you. The authorities wanted us to help you, to save you from this place. We'll take the boat in the night and go to another country. But Socrates said, what's the use of me going to another country? There also I'll speak the same thing. So let me take the poison. Same Shunke said, what's the purpose of me saving me from the, from the jail? Because she burnt down the temple. Because if the temple is not working according to what is needed for the society, that karma yoga every day to wipe out more tears and bring down hunger. Yes. Work very, very hard every day. The last drop of talent to be removed. If that is not happened. So she wrote a book and then Japanese people read it. She died at the age of 30 and Japan understood what is real love from that book that helped. Shunke, the beautiful love.